Welcome back to Q Dads. It's me, Ben, and yes, I am here today with a further breakdown of the latest episode of season two. Episode nine gave us a big reveal with the algorithm talking to Lucas at the end, and we're going to be diving deep into that. Of course, as always, there's no book spoilers on our channel, so if you do mention something in the comments, please let us know that it is a spoiler. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button before we start because Severance is just next week and yes we are going to be jumping on that train too because we will be diving very deep into severance so this algorithm that i'm going to break it down here for me has three potential theories the first being that this is an algorithm running deep throughout each silo and this is speculation on the obviously the algorithm and the legacy so potentially there could be multiple ai systems running tandemly together they seem to know everything about the silo and the individuals that they're confronted with such as lucas or even juliet and bernard so this obviously means that we have a very sophisticated bit of tech here and it's more advanced probably than any of the other silos out there because of the ability to know not only the person they're talking to but the position that they currently hold within that silo which for me is very very advanced this though does also concern me that if this is such a sophisticated bit of ai obviously to ensure that the silos keep running they are privy to a lot of conversations and sometimes they just do nothing about them and kind of let the silo take its own cause such as the build-up to this rebellion or like in silo 17 actually seeing the rebellion happen so why would such an intelligent ai sit back and do nothing especially if it's going to be the downfall of that silo now for me i don't actually think the algorithm or the legacy within the vault are actual real ai systems i think we are being hoodwinked just like the hints that we've been getting from the wizard of oz throughout the whole of the show and yes of course there is a slight chance that the ai is pulling from an existing knowledge bank of data and then would have to be inputted by someone or a group of people, which of course I believe to be the overseers in Silo 51. But of course, sticking to what I believe for a second, is the fact that this could all be a lie, and that actually there's a group of people, again, potentially the overseers in the 51st Silo, that are actually watching and monitoring each of the silos, and that way then they can speak to some of these key players under the cover of AI, just as we saw at the end of episode 9. And this for me would explain the different voices that we've been receiving. Because if you cast your mind back to when the legacy first introduced itself to Lucas, it was more of a female voice that gave him the information that he wanted. Where in this one, it was more of a masculine voice that spoke to Lucas. And plus that, it even said that it had not spoke with George. But then a little bit later on used the term we as in a plural when it mentioned about the safeguard measure. So does that mean that within this facade someone else actually did speak to George and potentially told him the same information or something different? And in this episode it was a different person all under the facade of this AI. And maybe this is a different person because actually they told George something that they weren't supposed to, not realising that he wasn't an IT shadow or above. So that person then got removed, which left us with the voice behind the algorithm that we heard. Yes, I know it's a little bit complex, but just imagine a group of people all working under the same AI across 50 other silos. There's going to be a few slip-ups here and there, I think for me, there's just too many things that hint towards it not being an AI. And there's something a little bit more mischievous at play. Which of course brings me on to the next point. This is all about the name, the algorithm. So of course, they've had to call the AI something for the sake of the subtitles. But what about if that was just to throw us as the viewer off? Because the real voice or the real reason behind the AI is probably not going to get revealed until season three. And it's going to be a bit of a big twist. Which means whoever these people are or whatever it is is running the AI is actually in charge of the whole operation. 
And I do think it's fair to say at this point that the overseers are probably more than likely in the 51st silo and running each of the others. Or that little breakaway section that was meant to be parallel to that of IT could also be running each of the silos independently. And that the 51st silo actually monitors these breakaway silos, I'm going to call them. Of course, all of this talk, whether the algorithm is an AI or isn't, actually leads us to talking about the safeguard measure. So what is this safeguard? Now, it could be multiple things, and most likely it's going to be the flooding of a silo, similar to what we saw in Silo 17. Is that something that the AI instigated as a safeguarding measure because there was then a full-on rebellion? Or was it something that actually the head of IT instilled because the flood actually only went to a certain floor? But again, this could be because everyone always blames mechanical. So the safeguarding measure could be a way of flooding out mechanical, but then not having the full destruction of a silo so they can still start again. But again, it just something about it doesn't quite make sense. Like Lucas has been approached because he's found these tunnel doors and now he's being told something that if he mentions it to someone else, there's going to be a safeguarding measure. Then why mention that at all? Presumably, it's the truth of what actually happened outside the silo. Meaning that if Lucas told anybody what the actual reality was, he would cause mass hysteria or even wider panic across other silos. Now imagine for a second, and a completely wild theory that the algorithm is a real AI and is running independently to the overseers in Vault 51. Meaning that the overseers then also heard the news that this AI told Lucas, it would create panic there too and shut down the whole project and network of silos. But what about if the news is told to Lucas is actually everything that they're doing and in fact is some kind of Truman Show level game where all the silos are working as part of this independent project, either for the entertainment or sustainability of the world. Now, I say that because there's lots of things that don't make sense to me, such as the mines. Now, for me, the mines are probably more than likely some kind of augmented reality, like we saw in the visor when Juliet left the silo. And people sent there, they're not in fact working, but believe they are. And this is because the future that is outside the silo is so more advanced than we even realise. And that actually the silos could even be operating as some kind of living museum. Now yes, I've gone a little bit off topic, but could it be something simple like the fact that these silos are in fact the last bit of humanity alive? And again, if Lucas told that information to the rest of the silo, it would cause complete panic and meltdown. But of course, I want to know your thoughts on this, guys. What do you think the algorithm is? Do you think that this is an actual real piece of AI? Do you think that it's a group of people similar to the Wizard of Oz pretending that they have some kind of power or is it something else that we've not even speculated so let me know your thoughts in the comments on what you think this is and again don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we are bringing you severance in just a few days time as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time with something new